I'm Friedel from TravelingTo.com. We're sitting in our tent after a day of cycling and there's a storm rolling in overhead. So I just thought we'd take a couple minutes to review this frying pan that we bought from REI about a year ago. Now we used this for several months on our trip and we've been using it for the last few months at home as well. The original reason that we bought it is that we really enjoy frying up onions and other things to go with our pasta as well as sausages and hamburgers when we're on tour and omelettes as well. Um, but we haven't actually been that pleased with it. We'll tell you why in a minute. First we'll tell you exactly what was good about it. We love the handle and this was one of the main reasons we bought it. As you can see the handle folds in nice and neatly so when you have to pack it away in your panniers it's very space efficient. And when you pull it back out again it's extremely sturdy. Some frying pans that we saw the handle really wobbled back and forth and you didn't get the feeling that it was going to last very long at all but this one feels very sturdy. And we also like the depth of it. It's over an inch deep which means that if you're a hungry cyclist you can fit in lots of food. Now what wasn't so good is the fact that the non-stick coating just seems to have stopped working and if Ender comes in a little bit closer you'll be able to see exactly what we mean here. I'll hold it up and you can see that the bottom of the frying pan just doesn't look smooth. It's pocketed and now whenever we make something it just sticks all over the bottom of the frying pan and it's terrible. We can't make omelets anymore uh, or pancakes or all those things that we love to make on the road. And when we compare it to the frying pan we had before this, which was just a cheap frying pan that we bought from a supermarket, that lasted us over two years. So for the $25 that we paid for this from REI, we'd have to say that we're just not very impressed.